This is the Aventon Adventure. This is my personal e-bike of choice, and today I want to share with you my top recommendations for accessories to take this bike to the next level. And fear not if you don't have this particular model, these recommendations will suit just about any bike very well. Let's get started. This is the Rock Brothers bag. First of all, if you're a creator at all, like if you make any videos, if you're a camera aficionado, you have a mirrorless or a DSLR, I have the Sony a7S III, and that entire camera will fit in this bag with other things in it as well, which is really amazing. And you can put a tripod right up here if you like. In the back pocket here, this is normally where you put a water bottle. I do have a water bottle here. It just happens to be empty because I just got done with my ride. If you open this guy up, I mean, I've got water in this bag. I've got a chain in this bag. I've got some tools in this bag. I've got a bike pump in this bag. I've got more chains, I've got straps, I've got all kinds of stuff. The cool thing I like about this bag so much is that it's actually insulated, which is like, you know, if you have cold water and you want to keep it actually cold, you can just put it in this bag and it will stay cold. That's a, that's a guarantee, uh, which is what, something I really liked about this. I, I typically drink my water room temperature a lot of times, but I was surprised that I took a few out of the fridge early morning for a ride, put them in, and they were cold hours later. And I'm not talking about like one or two hours later, I'm talking about like literally hours later, three, four hours later. These bottles were still cold on the inside, which is just incredible. Now, one of the cool parts about this bag is that on the side here, if you wanted to just simply throw like some keys and a wallet here in the side, you could totally do that. However, if you open it all the way up, you have this elastic string here that you can tie down here to your rack. And now you've got a much bigger pocket which is awesome you open this guy up you can put clothes in here jackets shirts you can put towels in here you can put books if you're a student uh, you can put all these things in here and you have one on each side of the bag which is super super clutch you love to see it there's plenty of room I can imagine that on some longer rides I'll definitely be filling this out more which will be awesome I mean, all in all, though, this thing is just very, very durable. I mean, you can literally slap this thing around. I don't know why you would do that, but you could slap this thing around and it will uh, stand the test of time. It, it's held on by multiple pieces of Velcro straps on the uh, two on the front and one on each side. This thing is just a really nice, high quality bag. If you're somebody that likes to take long rides, I can't imagine taking any other bag. I've had some other bags and this by far is the best one. I will, however, link below a smaller, cheaper option if you decide that this maybe is too much for your setup. Next up, let's talk about this Bikeroo seat. I'm a big fan of this. I previously used a couple of Cloud9 seats, which I did like uh, until a friend of mine who is a bicycle enthusiast, he has uh, two bikes and has this same seat on both bikes. That's how much he loves it. He said, dude, you have to check out this seat. So I got one and I put it on and I'm just amazed by it. I like how comfortable it is. I am like 320 on a good day, sometimes 330 on a bad day. Save your judgments for later, but uh, I'm a big boy, let's just say that. And this thing definitely keeps me comfortable. I just got off of a 23 mile ride. I typically will ride anywhere from 20 to 30 miles on average. And this thing keeps me comfortable the entire time. I mean, I'm pressing down on it and you can see how much cushion is in this seat. I don't know if this is actually real leather. It sure feels like it or it's a really good fake, but either way it is comfortable. It feels premium in the hands. And uh, if you're somebody that likes to take very long rides and you want that bigger profile seat, this one I think is a safe bet for you. So this right here is the Cycle Torch Bell. It is a high quality bell, very loud. Fits like a charm on the Avenger. This is the stock handlebar and it's really nice. I really like it. So this right here is my cell phone holder of choice. This thing is badass. I've seen a lot of flimsy ones around and this one is rugged you go in from the top the bottoms expand and there you go a nice secure fit there is a red button on the bottom where you can lock it in place 
and this thing is going nowhere. I really love the gripping system on this phone mount. It's very strong, very durable. Your, the red switch I mentioned is right back here, which locks it into place. I have it on an extension bar here, which hooks into my Avenger. Let me swing around here so that you can see this. This is a uh, extender bar. This will be in the description down below. I highly recommend this as well. I just didn't think it needed its own video necessarily, but it kind of helps keep the handlebars not as crowded up top and you can kind of just bring it out away from the main area here. Next, let's talk about this amazing mirror that is nice and compact off to the side of your handlebar grip. Again, we talked about the, the handlebar itself being kind of crowded, which is why I have the extender bar in the first place. But what I like about this, the appeal of this to me, because I have seen the ones that come off the handlebars here uh, on the main handlebar, this one right here off to the side, when you're putting your hand on it, it's not in the way. It doesn't mess with anything. There are screws on the side here and on the back, which lets you dial it in and get it, you know, just nice and right. If you don't have them on tight enough, you will end up being in a situation where it'll kind of wobble and come up and down. So you just tighten it down real tight once you get kind of the positioning so that you can see everything. And this thing is rock solid. This guy right here is gonna come in super clutch. If you're like me, when you first started riding and you got numb wrist, you know, a lot of discomfort when you're riding because typically this handlebar is normally a little more further out and a little more flat. And so as a result, your wrist, all the vibrations and being further away, it's a lot more uncomfortable. So you get this guy and you bring it up and it comes closer to you, which makes for a much, much smoother ride. Believe me, this is something you are gonna want if you fit that description. Well, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you made it this far, thank you so much. All the links to everything in this video are down below in the description. And leave me a comment. Is there something here in the video that you already have? Tell me how it's working out for you. Something maybe you're considering getting. Let me know what that is down below in the comments. If this video brought you any value whatsoever, hit the like button, consider telling a friend and maybe even subscribing. And I'll see you on a future video. Thanks so much.